Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another video tutorial created for the new Boston. Now, in this tutorial we're going to be creating a unique hit counter. And by unique hit counter, I mean exactly the same as a non-unique hit counter. However, we're going to be recording the user's IP address. And by recording the user's IP address, we're going to get a lot more accurate figure it won't be entirely accurate because IP addresses obviously do change, but we're going to get a lot more accurate figure as to how many unique visitors we have taken on our website, so how many people have visited uniquely. So as per the last tutorial, the non-unique hit counter, if you've already watched it, we've got an index.php file, account.php file, and account.txt file. Now we're also going to have to include a new file and that is going to be called, um, let's just save this file out, that's going to be called uh, IP, ip.txt. So we're going to have IP addresses in here of users that have visited the website um, that are going to be stored every time they visit. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to counter hit, but then we're going to take their IP address and we're going to store it in this file on a line by line basis. So we'll have say 127.0.0.1 and then we'll have another IP address on the next line and we'll have so on and uh, so on. So um, for now I'm going to leave this blank. The first thing we need to do though before we do any of anything is we need to check that the IP address doesn't already exist. Now we can use the file function in PHP to check or to read in a file on a line by line basis which is then stored in an array and what this does is it allows us to take each IP address on each line and carefully uh, well check each one um, on each line so it's a lot and it's a really really easy way of doing things so the first thing we're going to do inside count.php is we're going to create a function called uh, hit underscore count and this is going to be called from index.php uh, every time. So we, we have the freedom, we're including this count file, uh, Yeah, we're going to include count.php and then we're going to have the choice if we want to hit count or not. So um, we can include it but then we can use it, um, we could use it say inside an if statement or say if um, a particular user is using the Chrome uh, web browser then we can count so there's a variety of ways, a variety of benefits of using a function. So um, let's just uh, call this function for now so later on uh, we can um, test it correctly. So in count at the moment there's a value of zero, in IP we don't have any IP addresses. So the first thing I want to do is establish the user's IP address. Now I'm going to be using um, a simple way to grab the user's IP address and that is using the dollar underscore server uh, predefined variable and we're using remote address. So this is some envir environmental information about the user. So let's just echo this out and we can see that that's going to produce my IP address. Um, there's another tutorial on this if you haven't already watched it and there's also another tutorial about how to properly detect the user's IP address. So I'm using this now for the purpose of this tutorial but I recommend you look up uh, the other tutorial that I've um, that I've done um, and, uh, and um, read in the user's IP address or find the user's IP address a lot more accurately. So this is my IP address for now. I'm using a local server so it's 127.0.0.1. Let's refresh and just blank that. So we've grabbed the IP address. That's something we determined at the start that we did need to do. Let me just swap these files around. Okay, so we've determined the IP address. Now inside hit count, the first thing we need to do is check if this IP address doesn't exist in IP.txt. There's nothing in there at the moment, so obviously for now it doesn't. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up this file. So I'm going to create a variable called handle and I'm going to say f, oh no, I'm going to say file. Um, in fact, we can call this um, IP underscore file. So file and it is IP.txt. Now let's just refresh to make sure we don't have any errors. 
okay we're error free so what we've done now is we've created this variable called IP file which is now an array because the function file opens IP.txt and let's say we have line one two three it'll open each line as an array as a value of an array so um, we've opened this as an array now what we need to do is use the for each uh, construct to um, to grab each um, IP address in there so we've got each element of the array so we're gonna say for each IP file as IP and what we can do to test this is we can echo out IP and we'll put a line break there as well so in fact we'll use a comma just to show that we've um, we've taken this as each element so there's nothing in there at the moment so if we refresh we're not going to have anything on the screen however if we add say uh, test data new line just pop a, pop a load of rubbish in there each of these should now correspond for each loop of um, let's go back to the count.php file for each loop of this this IP will be each line so let's refresh and test that so you can see that we're grabbing the data on each line and uh, we we can use this separately so we can check each IP address these will eventually correspond to IP addresses so you'll notice that there's a line there's a space after each bit of data um, let's just change these to IP addresses so we've got a more realistic representation okay so uh, let's refresh okay so we've got a space after here now you've noticed that we've not actually specified in here that we want a space after it we've concatenated on this straight away and that's because when we're reading it in on a line by line basis there's always a space after each um, element in this array so what we need to do is we need to use the trim function uh, here to remove the white space from the left hand side and the right hand side just in case uh, there are there is any white space now let's refresh and you can see that that white space has in fact gone